Hey, welcome back. And today we're gonna to go into part two of my AIT Army stories. And it involves the same person that was in the first part, which is Drill Sergeant Klingon. To give you a little overview, I went to Fort Eustis, Virginia for AIT to become a, a Black Hawk uh, repair mechanic. And the AIT company was Charlie Company, first of the Triple Deuce. Now, this story revolves around the different freedoms you have while in AIT, well, at least back in 99 when I was in AIT. And the kids, the soldiers, the kids there, they had different statuses that they could be on throughout their time in AIT. First one was restricted status, and that usually included all the troublemakers or the brand new guys just that just arrived from uh, basic training. And I think for the first two weeks, week or two weeks that you're there, you were on restricted status, and then you can progress from there and get what's called B status. And B status was post privileges. You could go around the base, uh, go to the shop at or the PX. You could go to the bowling alley, drink if you were old enough. And then the status after that was what we called U pass, which was unlimited. You could leave Fort Eustis. You can go to Virginia Beach, which was one of the main places that the AIT soldiers would go to. Well, this story happened shortly after my first story, which was about the, my first PT session there. Well, my first Friday there, they would have like an end of duty day formation, which I'm pretty sure it was by shift. Well, at the end of this formation, they would release everybody to do whatever their pass allows them to do. So after that formation is dismissed, anyone who thinks they have a com convincing story to tell the drill sergeant that was on duty at the time to let them either move from restricted to base pass or from base pass to U pass or even from restricted to U pass. If you had a good excuse and you can convince the drill sergeant, they would let you. But me and another classmate that uh, came with me from Wisconsin, where I, I'm from originally, we had some, we had to get some paperwork or something we had to fill out and we had to give it back to the drill sergeant. So we go to the drill sergeant office along with all the other guys trying to get B pass or U pass. And drill sergeant Klingon starts asking each individual soldier what they're here for, what they want, what their reason is that they should get a B pass or U pass. And he was just disregarding guys left and right. Like, no, that's not a good excuse. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Well, me and I think his name was Casey. Me and Casey were waiting, like I said, to get some paperwork filled out. And then a song came on a radio. Now this song, the person singing the song, was, it's, it's very iconic. And it was a singer that I didn't think people could get confused or not even know who that singer is by the sound of his voice. But something got in Drew Sarn Klingon and he went around the room asking everybody, who sings that song? Who sings that song? Do you know? Do you know? And nobody could nobody could answer. And then he gets to us to, to us new guys. And he asks Casey, "Do you know who sings that song?" And Casey's like, "No, no, Drill Sergeant." And he asked me. He's like, "Do you know who sings that song?" I was like, "Yes, Drill Sergeant." He's like, "Who?" It's like that's Frank Sinatra. How could you not know who Frank Sinatra was? And because I got that question right, he gave me U pass. And because I was a brand new guy and I didn't know what I was doing, I asked if Casey could come along with me be like my battle buddy and he agreed and we got to go to Virginia Beach for the first time little did I know that four years later I would be in a unit that frequents Virginia Beach quite often to train with the SEALs there at their little dev group compound but yeah that's it for that story hope you guys liked it as always if you liked the video hit that like button and feel free to share it, guys. Also, if you guys like my content and would like to support it, head on over to ballisticinc.com forward slash collections forward slash fitty underscore actual and pick up some merch designed by me. It's a great way to support the video production and get something physical in return. I do also have a Patreon account if you'd like to help that way too. Don't forget to stop by the Facebook page because we usually have a fun time there. Well, that's it, guys. Laters.